Welcome back to the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls for when the lights go out. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all tucked up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight because tonight's story is called Troll and the Oliver by Adam Stower. Once upon a time, this is the troll, and this is an Oliver. Every day, around lunchtime, Troll tries to eat the Oliver, but catching an Oliver is a tricky business. No matter how hard Troll tried, he could never quite manage it. My name's Oliver, you'll never catch me. I'm too quick to be a troll's tea. And the Oliver was never any help at all. Instead of standing nice and still, the Oliver dashed about all over the place, which made grabbing it very difficult. Then, each time Troll got close, the Oliver would suddenly vanish and giggle. My name's Oliver, tee hee hee, that silly old Troll will never find me. And for something normally so loud and squeaky, He would choose just the wrong moment to be soft and sneaky. My name's Oliver, wait and see. I'll creep past Troll and he won't hear me. Even when Troll was sure he'd finally, definitely, absolutely caught the Oliver, he hadn't. My name's Oliver and I tricked you. I am too clever to be Oliver Stew. It was always the same. Hmm. By spring, Troll was grumpy, tired and very, very hungry. It just wasn't fair. It was almost as if the Oliver was doing it on purpose. Troll went back to his hall and ate his dinner of twigs and stones. He'd had enough of pesky Olivers. Then, next morning, Oliver fetched his basket and set off to go shopping as usual. He took extra care through the woods, expecting Troll to jump out at any moment. But it didn't. On the way back, Oliver checked the long grass in the meadow to see if the Troll was hiding there, waiting to grab his ankles. It wasn't. Then he tiptoed across the bridge, just in case. But there was no sign of the troll anywhere. It was most peculiar. In fact, Oliver didn't see the troll all day long, and soon he was safely home again. It was not until Oliver was busy in the kitchen that he suddenly understood. The troll had given up. It was gone forever. Oliver had won. He felt exceedingly pleased with himself. My name's Oliver, look at me. I'm as brilliant as can be. I'm the best and I'm the winner. I'll never, ever be that smelly troll's dinner. Chump. Troll felt exceedingly pleased with himself. But unluckily for Troll, and luckily for Oliver's everywhere, Oliver's taste revolting. (laughs) Poor Troll. Now he was hungrier than ever. Troll slumped and sighed and Oliver sat and dripped. But just then they heard a tick-tock, tick-tock, ping. And from that moment on, everything changed. These days, Troll is never hungry and he won't ever have to eat stones again or twigs. Or Oliver's, thank goodness. Every day we sing and bake because, guess what? All trolls love cake. That's right. The end. Wow, that is another amazing book about a troll that was trying to catch the Olivers. And in the end, he found out that Olivers didn't taste very nice and he preferred cake. 
which is just as well because they were cooking, baking cake in the oven. It's a little bit like the Little Red Riding Hood story I told last night. Anyway, that's it for Troll and the Oliver by Adam Stower here on the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls for when the lights go out. Hit subscribe, follow, like, wherever you are. You can listen to another podcast, another bedtime story. Good night.